Okay, we're live. It's James Woody speaking, TradingSites.io. Got some really cool news for you if you're into that teaching space, that online course space, an education business, you're starting building, you're growing it, uh, and you're probably going, well, I'm just going to make some courses and I'll learn how to prompt and everything's going to be fine. Nah, I don't think so. And uh, this was actually brought forward again by one of the members at TradingSites.io who showed me or put a link to this little tidbit here. And I'm going to show it to you, but what it was, was OpenAI has started to put out for some users some brand new feature called Study Hall. Now, what the heck is Study Hall? We're going to take a look at that today and then also how that fits into some of the other things that I've been talking about, which are Google Classroom and Learn LM. This whole space in education is changing dramatically. And if you think you're just going to be able to create a course by learning how to do some prompts and put it into some kind of learning management software, I think you're in pretty big trouble because this is one of those ones that really changes everything again. It's like teachers or people who are traditional educators have to be careful because these big AI companies are coming to disrupt, rather on purpose or not, they're coming to disrupt the way that you normally do things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look and tell you what little I know about uh, st uh, study together. And then I'm going to sort of compare it on where it fits in. So there's study together and then there's also learn LM from Google and also Google Classroom. And these all three fit together and they have nothing to do with a traditional website, but we've got a whole learning ecosystem that's now available and it's all AI enhanced or AI generated content. So this whole space is changing again very, very quickly. And um, it just came out today. So I was looking around, uh, I got notified by one of the members uh, again here on the campus. And it said, uh, looks like OpenAI is moving to the online training space. Take a look at this, brought the link up. So of course, what I did uh, is I went and took a look at it, and of course on X, this came out, uh, I guess it was four hours ago. So I think some people got it yesterday, July 6th. Today's July 7th uh, at 6.19 p.m. It's been out a couple hours, or at least people have been talking about it uh, last couple hours. Uh, and it's things like uh, rest, in, rest in peace tutors, uh, guide you through the learning process step by step. So this is from OpenAI, ChatGPT, and what it's doing is, again, my understanding, I don't have it, I don't have access to it. I've just been doing the research and looking what other people are showing in terms of screen captures and the information that I could get from OpenAI and some of the media outlets. What's happening here is it's adding this whole Socratic uh, questioning model into the works or things that you're actually uh, getting involved in when you are challenging yourself, like taking a look at a YouTube video, trying to learn from it, or you have some kind of document, any kind of material, it's not about a prompt and a response, it's more about a question and a challenge for you. So this whole kind of Socratic teaching method, and again, I'm not a formally trained teacher, so if I misspeak or uh, kind of uh, muck up on stuff, please accept my apologies, I'm looking at it from the perspective of a business person starting building grow an education business not someone who's in like the k-12 traditional teaching spot so here's the thing um we've got this brand new tool and again just from my notes kind of the thing or the place that it fits in here uh is this so um this is an experimental feature as far as i know and it's been spotted by some people not everyone has it and apparently it shows up uh in one of the menus let me see if i can get the picture there uh, yeah, it's in the uh, tools menu. So it should show up in the tools menu when you have it down the bottom and it just says study together on it. So there's normally things like, you know, create an image, search the web, that kind of thing. There'll be one there that uh, says study together. So here's kind of the, the big picture with it. So what it's done, what it's for is designed to shift ChatGPT from uh, a prompt and response to an active learning companion, like a tutor or someone that challenges you when you're using the tool. So basically prompts you with questions, asks you to respond and adapts follow-ups based on the answers that you give. So this is just like having someone there that is super intelligent, super knowledgeable to challenge the way you think and the way you look at any of the things that you're trying to uh, learn. So it's someone that's helping you study together. Now my understanding is that it is limited to uh, yourself right now, 
But I have read in some of the articles that, in fact, it's going to allow multiple people to be involved in a single chat with the tutor. So right now, the only thing I've seen is a one on one, one with your tutor. But just imagine what happens if we have multiple people talking to your AI tutor. And it really has two kind of ways to look at it. So the use cases that seem to be kind of showing up and the ones people are talking about is like that solo virtual tutor. So it just quizzes you, checks on you to make sure that you're knowing, uh, gives more adaptive explanations based on your own unique situation rather than just giving you answers. Um, the second one is that study group that I just kind of talked about. And again, this isn't out uh, yet, but it's been suggested that you will be able to invite friends. So imagine this is one group chat, whether it's a class or maybe someone in a cohort or someone that you're selling in a community or someone that you're working with in your membership site or your course site, you're going to have a live AI tutor other than you, the teacher, that is going to be able to interact with groups of people. So those are the kind of neat things that are kind of happening. So this is completely changing how we think about what normally is ChatGPT or an AI tool when we're prompting. And I've been trying to, you know, I, I in as much as I try not to talk about prompts, prompts are still important, but there is a transition now between an interactive agent like or an interactive AI as opposed to us being the initiator of all of the actions and waiting, waiting for responses. So it's moving from content creation to knowledge and understanding and being able to apply and implement that content by working with a virtual tutor here. So it's still an A-B testing as far as I know, and it's really designed to help you participate in the content, not only in your ability to recall it if you need it, so it's just-in-time knowledge as opposed to just focusing on just-in-case knowledge. Um, availability timing I have, again, isn't officially launched. I don't have it yet. Um, sign suggests, and again, these are the notes I got, wider launch could happen soon, possibly after the initial uh, testing. So just think about this. If you are in the course business and you are going, I'm going to go and use these fancy props to create a course and some quizzes, and I'm going to focus on content. And then you now have a live virtual tutor that is able to interact and challenge individually every person. This changes fundamentally how your education business is set up and trying to monetize. It's not about the content now, it's about the experience of the learning, the implementation and the application. And this is just the study together from OpenAI. So here's the other part that's kind of neat. And again, I took a whole bunch of notes here. If you're unfamiliar with it, there's actually something called I'll see if I can pull this one up here. I think I have it. Let me just pull up the, uh, there we go. Here's one here. So there's also something called from Google called Learn LM in Gemini. And if you're not familiar, Gemini 2.5 uh, is like the ChatGPT or the Claude. That is their large language model. And I really, really like it because it really came out with the whole multimodal thing I've been talking about. But they have a version of Gemini that is specifically for education. Uh, and really, it's allowing you to, uh, it's more for teachers being able to create content or educators, traditional educators, being able to use these AI tools in order to do things that are specific to a, a formal teaching environment. Not necessarily for someone who's in the business or a small business or coach consultant speaker, but more in the court, traditional education slash corporate kind of setting. So they have uh, Learn LM is there. And then something else is happening because there's also another tool called classroom.google.com. Now classroom.google.com is one that I've been kind of playing around with. The thing with this is this isn't an AI tool kind of yet. This is basically a classroom or a way that you can teach online. So it isn't an LMS with about just some content and some lessons and check off the lessons. This is about the teacher giving assignments, providing content, guiding people through the different pieces. 
all of the traditional stuff a teacher would do. This is a classroom for it. Now, the reason I'm excited about it is I'm on the business plan. I got a Google Workspace account. Problem is for me is that the Gemini part that has been announced is not available for my account yet. So the cool thing is, is they've got this classroom here. And just to give you an idea of some of the stuff that it happens, it's like you have a classroom. You can see there's a class code, Google Meet. Uh, let me just open it up. Sorry, I didn't have it open up. So you have uh, in the classroom here, you have classroom grades. So you're able to test people, manage their progression through stuff. There's a Google Meet link so you can have these live cohorts or classes, uh, announcements. It is a private space for a group of people for you, the person to teach. Now, the reason I was excited about this is because they've now got uh, some accounts, and again, I don't have access to it because I just have a traditional workspace account. They have Google Classroom with AI Gemini built into it. So the teacher has access to all of the things to build out the lessons, to build out the rubrics, to understand the scaffolding and putting things together, to create all the classwork. Everything is there for the students to learn. So I want you just to think about that now. So we're sitting here, we've got this brand new thing called Study Together. We've got Gemini for all of this educational content created. And we've now got this thing with Classroom. There is a whole ecosystem that is now in and around what teachers are traditionally doing, and it is all AI powered. This is, again, changing everything about the teacher and how people teach. And also, if you're doing a small business where you're doing traditional courses and trying to monetize courses, I've been trying to like I'm working really, really hard on going or moving from what I traditionally did was creating courses to focusing on the live teaching, the actually connecting with people and doing the application, the implementation the personal one-on-one -on -one or in the cohort, in the group, helping them learn what they need to do when they need to do it and actually go through the options and streamline and remove all of the overwhelm from people. This is a huge opportunity for people who are interested in teaching and really connecting people. It is a huge problem if you think that you can just create course content and put it in a website and put it in a membership site. Those times are gone. This is July right now. If I'm talking to you in 30 or 60 days and something like this is not available, I'd be very surprised. The fact is, these are the big companies. These are the big players. These are not little kind of companies that are trying to use the large language model tool like Claude or Gemini uh, or, uh, uh, or ChatGPT. These are the actual large language module tool and they're going after education businesses. So spend some time taking a look at it. I'll put some links below. There's a whole bunch of stuff here in articles. I'll put the links to it. And again, this is the seventh. This was actually uh, this one here, for example. This was in TechCrunch posted at uh, July 7th here at 1 p.m. this afternoon. So it's announced. There's a whole bunch of these different ones that are announced. Uh, again, TechCrunch, Bleeping Computer, News Bytes, all of this stuff is coming out. And again, this is so cool if you're in the education space. It's not about you prompting, it's about you being involved and actually working with people and teaching people based on all of your experience and all the really cool things that you've done in your past life and or business life or what you've trained for or what you're passionate about. Now, if you haven't already done it, please go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. There we go. That's my personally branded campus where we talk about teaching online, starting, building, and growing an education business. Love to have you in there. It's absolutely free to join. I have all of my videos, all of the prompts and stuff that I've worked on, all of the frameworks. They're there for you to use. And of course, you can get involved in the free community and just share what's going on, share what you're doing with other members. And in fact, hopefully, be able to start, build, and grow your business. My name is James. It's trainingsites.io. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again shortly with another great video for you.